Hello, Dr. Cross. My associates have agreed to your terms. Wonderful. Mr. Carson introduced me to these fine gentlemen here, the representatives of Hydra. They're not what they were, and I'm enjoying myself. You tried to hide your technology from me, and now it's gonna blow up in your face. Ooh. Wow. I mean, I saw the punch coming a mile away, but I just figured it'd be all pathetic and weak. Well, you figured wrong. All right, guys, I'm here. Setting the charges. Almost. No, you're not. I'm getting close. No, you're not. San Francisco PD, out of the van. I know you're in there. Make it go faster. Dude, serious. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. There was a black guy that looked exactly like me who attacked us and put us in the back of this disgusting van. Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. Take it easy. Oh, no, 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 no. Move. Go now. Wait, what? What do you mean, wait? What? What? Hey, little guy. <laughs> Who is the new Ant-Man? Who is the man that my beloved mentor trusted even more than me? Scott Lang. The martyr. He escapes his jail cell without leaving any clue as to how. And then he disappears magically. And now he brings me the Ant-Man suit that can rival my creation. Darren, don't do this. If you sell to these men, it's going to be chaos. I already have. Oh, I'll sell them the yellow jacket, but I'm keeping the particle to myself. They don't run on diesel. If you want the fuel, you'll have to come to me. You can stop this, Darren. It's not too late. It's been too late for a long time. Darren! This is not who you are. It's the particles altering your brain chemistry. You're right. I have to be the one to do it. There we go. Drop your gun. <laughs> <laughs> 